Alright guys, it's Coach Will with Big Little Gyms and in this video I want to talk about hooking up some AI uh, in an AI appointment setting bot for your gym. So this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to show you how to use, how to integrate ChatGPT into our system Gymnetics which is an automation and lead generation uh, machine for gyms. So uh, this started with uh, doing this video was kind of, uh, I guess, um, the idea was given to me by Nick here who's asking a question. It's a gym owner in our program. He asks, is there a way to integrate ChatGPT into our Gymnetics to take place of auto response and aid in booking leads and help with overcoming objections? So our system Gymnetics already has auto responders built in, more of a classic automation using text message and emailing. Um, but now that we have AI available, uh, you, he's curious if we can use AI in it uh, with ChatGPT. Now, uh, you can. So I'm going to show you in this video some very simple ways you can do that or a very simple way you can do that that's built into our system. What I'm going to say about AI is it can get as about as complex as you want. And there are some very, very robust AI systems out there that will carry like entire conversations with a lead. And um, it, those, the bigger they are, the more robust they are and the more conversational they are. They often, they, that's, at this point with AI, those are often very complex systems that um, require a lot more upkeep. So, um, you can build something like that within our system if you want, but I just always tell people, try to keep it as simple as possible. And really with gyms, what I tell people is like, honestly, like unless you're getting hundreds of leads a month, you really shouldn't need to rely on full conversational AI. Really like lead generation and appointment setting should be like top priority for you, the gym owner, or whoever's sitting at your front desk. Um, if you're not, if you say, if say you're getting less than 100 leads a month, um, you should have the time. Because if you have less than 100 leads a month, then you should have the time to do the follow-up. And honestly, picking up the phone and calling your lead is always going to be the most effective um, in regards to, we call it speed to lead. If you can call that lead quickly and get them booked, you're going to stand a lot better chance than relying on an AI-driven bot. Just because to some degree, the AI bots, even if they're done well, they're still kind of a towel there that they're, that's AI. Now, does it work? It can work. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to experiment with it to see if it'll work for you and your gym uh, and that our systems can do it. But I always tell people like, you know, these systems often work far better. Um, just, you know, if you're already doing good follow-up to begin with, because um, conversational AI as it sits, um, it's still done through text, right? It can't pick up the phone and have a call with the lead. And ultimately you calling back the lead within five minutes of them submitting their information is always going to be far more effective you know, if, if if a lead, if you and a gym down the road are both getting the same lead, the same person shopping, and that gym owner picks up the phone down the road, they pick up the phone and call that lead first, they're going to win every time. They're going to get that person in the door and they're probably going to do business with them. Versus if you're if you're just resorting to a conversational AI bot um, that's, you know, waiting for response and asking questions, open-ended questions and trying to formulate answers, ultimately it's going to be a little bit slower. So I'm, I'm going to preface everything by saying that because I think that's valuable to know. But with that, let me show you what you can do with uh, ChatGPT, with Gymnetics, um, because we do have those tools available to us, okay? So we're going to go to Gymnetics here and um, I'm just going to take a second for the screen to load. There it is. Okay, cool. And if we're on the dashboard here, we would click down to uh, automations here. And what we're going to need to do well, is automations and forms here. You're going to need to both uh, create an automation and a form. And um, if you're a gym that already works with us under main lead generation workflows, what you're going to be doing, if you go down here, new lead submission. This is your normal lead submission form that goes out. And these are all your automations that normally go out to a lead. And these are often adequate enough. Um, but if, say, you wanted to go full AI, what you would do is you would actually create a new workflow right here and you would call it, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch and we're going to call it Will's Dummy AI Gym Appointment Bot. Okay. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to click add first action. And if you go down here, we can find, we just type in the word AI. You'll see AI appointment booking bot. We'll click that. And this is based off your calendar. So it's going to look at your calendar. It's going to find available times on your calendar. And it's going to ask the customer which one of them it wants to, you want they want to book. So we're going to select the calendar. In this case, we're going to go down here. We're going to select uh, website no sweat intro. And we're going to say that we want it to, this is a total bot process and duration, how long you want to follow up with the lead to attempt to book, book this appointment. Um, 
when that time runs, runs up, if it hasn't booked the appointment with the lead by then, it's going to it's gonna time out, okay? But let's just say we want to follow up for a day. And I would experiment with this if you're running this and see how it does over a day, two days, three days. I'd probably just start with a day, 24 hours, um, or even three hours, right? I'd start like three hours maybe. And then uh, right down here, send first message. Because we want to send a message out to the lead to get the conversation started, right? So by default, it has this message in here. Do you want to book an appointment? We're going to get rid of that message. And we're going to use this message instead. Um, let me go ahead and pull it up. There we go. We're going to say this right here. Copy. And we're going to send this message. Hi, contact first name. It's going to fill in their first name. It's Coach Will with Sanctum CrossFit. In this case, it's Die Hard CrossFit. Not all caps. Die. Die hard CrossFit. Thanks for checking out our website. Next step is to book your intro session at the gym. Is now a good time to get you booked. That's what I would do there. Um, then I would click save. Okay. Now it's going to open up this little tree down here. You don't have to put anything down here. If you do, it's going to basically make that happen next, depending on the criteria here, or it will just go to the checkered flag and end. Okay. Now we're going to click publish and we're going to click save on this. Okay. Now, uh, this for, this automation, now that I've set it up, has no triggering event, which means it's not going to do anything unless we manually put the lead into it, right? Um, or we can add a triggering event. In this case, say you want it to come off your getting started form of your website. Say they fill out the getting started form of the website. You want this to be what happens. So we're going to go ahead and go to forms. And uh, if you have an existing get it, getting started form, if you're a Big Little Gym's client, and you already have, you should have a, if you go to your forms and type in website, you should be able to find your getting started forms. Oh, for some reason, I just don't seem to want to work. There they are. Okay, getting started. He's got all these forms, right? But we're just going to go ahead and create, oh, it's because we're under funnels. We need to go to forms. There we go, builder. Okay. And um, you can see he's got his website getting started form. Um, that's the form you would want to make the trigger event, but just for the sake of um, not disrupting this gym's stuff because he's not using the AI stuff, I created a dummy form here that was Will's test AI form, and this form is uh, first na uh, full name, email, phone, and an opt-in and a button. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this form up in a new tab right there just to test it, and then. Um, Make sure we have something set up here upon completion. It's going to basically give them this thank you for filling out this form message right there. Okay. Now we need to go back to that automation and make this form or whatever form you want the uh, trigger. So we're going to go back to automation, main lead gen workflow. Oh, we're just going to go here to the little clock. There's our app bot and here is we're going to pick form ah loading slow today i reload this all right loading 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 <laughs> there it goes okay all right, so we're going to go back to workflows. Go back to recents. And we're going to click on our dummy AI gym bot here. And that should load any second. There it goes. And we go to workflow trigger here. All right, forgive me. My Chrome browser is absolutely stinking it up right now all right so we're going to go to uh add new workflow right here trigger form submitted submitted right there add filter the form that is being submitted is the uh will's test AI, ai form right there okay so now when they fill out that form which we could pretend like that's our getting started form on our website it's going to add them to this AI booking bot. That AI booking bot is going to send me this message. And for the next three hours, it's going to follow up with me to get me booked. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and test it now. All right. So we're going to go here. We're going to fill this out with my info. 
I'm going to opt in, submit, and then we're going to go back to the conversations tab of genetics so we can see the text message conversation that's happening with this test lead. So conversations, I'm going to go all. And there you go. You can see the message has gone out right there. Now I'm going to go to my phone and make sure I got the message. And there it is. Sure enough, I have the message right there that matches the message on my screen. Okay. Now I'm going to say, uh, yes, it is a good time. This is a good time. You can see the message just came in genetics here. And the gym owner would be able to see this, but the AI is going to work here. It's going to take a second and it's going to do its thing. There it goes. It says, here are some of the available days. And it's giving me options of Tuesday the 22nd, Wednesday the 23rd, or Thursday, August 24th. It's asking me which day works best for you. I'm going to say Wednesday is the best day for me. And there it is. There's my response. And now the AI is going to do its thing. It's going to think for a second, and then it's going to give a response. It's usually pretty quick. It's almost pretty natural feeling. It says, here are some openings, Wednesday, 23rd, uh, August 23rd at um, 10, 15 a.m., 3.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And it will always give these times in your gym's local time zone based on the settings here in Gymnetics. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and do 10, 15 a.m. Works best. So I want to, I want to send conversational messages. It's going to do its thing here and it should confirm this appointment for me. It says, yes, it's available. Should we book Wednesday, August 23rd at 10, 15 a.m.? So it's basically confirming the appointment date and time with me. And I'm going to put yes. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to type that there. I want to type it on my phone. Yes, confirmed. Let's see, I'm responding with yes confirmed right there and i'm going to hit yes confirmed as the lead and now i'm going to get something on this side here and it says to confirm we have you booked for wednesday august 23rd 10 15 a.m see you soon now this will also probably send the um, default appointment booking message that we have set up for this gym automatically in the next few minutes here. But it gives that short little quick conversational one to say, hey, we have you booked for Wednesday, August 23rd at 10, 15 a.m. See you. Um, and uh, if I now, if I go to calendars and I go to Wednesday, go to this calendar and go to the no sweat intro appointment here. Uh, you'll see Wednesday at 10, 15. There is my booking right there um, confirmed and it's been conform confirmed by the Eliza bot and it's doing its thing um, so there we go so you can see that that works pretty well and that's a great way to do some very simple uh, do a very simple appointment booking bot within gymnetics um, there are other ways you can do more advanced bots where uh, you have it do conditional logic you can have it kick things out to Zapier. Um, you can use ChatGPT separately within Zapier and give it a bunch of prompts to have more conversation about who you are and what you do. It gets far more advanced when you do that and then it becomes like a layered approach of like a big feedback loop of like sending information out, getting a, giving a prompt, getting a response, pulling the response back in, formulating a text message and sending it. But this way here is very simple and it's all in one. All you really need to do is go to automation and uh, just create a simple workflow here that uses the AI appointment booking bot here uh, to book that. And then you can put a test lead through it and then I'll book the appointment just like we did there. And uh, you're good to go. Um, if you're an active gym owner in our program and you're watching this, that means you have access to the Wednesday call with Joey, where if you get on that call, it's a live call every Wednesday with one of our tech team, our tech lead, he can actually help you set this up and get this going for you in our in our system so you don't even need to do the work. You just get on that call and say, hey, I'd like, to, like for you to show me how to do the AI appointment booking bot. Can you do that? 
um, and he can literally do a screen share with you, just like we're doing, just like we're doing right here on this call, and help you set this up. Uh, so when leads come in through your website and they fill out the form, the getting started form on your website, they'll go directly into this AI appointment booking bot, and it will carry the conversation to get them booked to come into the gym. So there you go. If you found this video helpful, please like. Um, subscribe, click the notification bell, depending on where you're watching this. I'm going to post this on a couple different places. So if it's not a place where you can like, subscribe, and notif- click the notification bell, please click that. Um, if you are an active gym owner with Big Little Gyms, then you have these tools. If you are not an active gym owner with Big Little Gyms and you would like to have amazing tools like this built and set up for your gym to uh, generate more, get more traffic, generate more leads off of that traffic, get more of those leads booked, get more of those bookings to show up, and get more of those shows to close for uh, medium and high ticket or any type of membership really, but we really aim towards helping you sell higher ticket things so you can boost the bottom line of your gym with premium offers uh, at premium prices. Go to biglittlegyms.com and we will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.